Okay, good afternoon everyone. This is Carl F. Rose reporting from Bedford, Pennsylvania. And um, I guess everyone's calling this a victory Friday after last night's game. And so Lions had a, a victory Monday and now victory um, Friday. Uh, anyway, what I want to do here is, um, I don't know how many of you remember Chuck Knoll as, as the uh the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, but he he ended up coaching them for 22 years, and um, this is why uh, Dan Campbell is going to stick around for a while. I want to show you the first three years um, that Chuck Knoll started because I mean Pittsburgh was was um, I actually liked Pittsburgh for a while. That was when I was living out in California, um, but. Um, Anyway, yeah, he, Pittsburgh was just a, a laughing stock. Um, you know, 1969, that's actually 68, 67 or 68 is when I started following the, the Lions. And um, that, was, that was about the same time I was following the Steelers too. But anyway, so they were a joke. So in his first year um, as head coach, he, he went 1-13, and 13, uh, second year 5-9, and nine, uh, third year six and eight so in those th three years I now I know those are short uh, shorter seasons but anyway um, for that time span he was 12 and 30 um, and as we as you all know he's went on to win a, a number of Super Bowls now let me go let me switch here and um, show you what Dan Campbell has done so far um, okay, let's go over here. There we go. All right. Um, let's see if we can get into. Okay, there was. Ah, um, uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, okay. So far, he's been fifteen and twenty-two, um, uh, and one tie. So. Um, Dan Campbell is on a pace to, you know, be uh, equivalent to another um, Chuck Knoll. So Dan Campbell, it's safe to say, um, is going to be around for a while, which, which is good. I mean, he's already passed up a whole bunch. Uh, um, let's see, is it forty point eight percent? Who's the? Um, let's see if I, let me see if I can switch the one percentage now. Um, but the next um, next one that he's going to be able to beat will be, uh, there it is. Yeah, Wayne Fonts was 64 and 64. So um, seven more wins by Dan Campbell. Um, I mean, that's providing they win seven more games in a row. That'll put him up to... Uh, uh, same as uh, Wayne Fonts. Oops. Okay, how do I do that? Okay. Anyway, um, but that's what I'm getting at. Um, is that? Uh, um, um, okay, go back here. There we go. Uh, oops. That's Chuck Knoll. Anyway, um, he's on a pace, and see, in year four, um, in '72, um, Chuck Knoll uh, was. 11 and 3 and um, uh, one playoff win and one playoff loss uh, but it's it's looking to me um, that uh, Dan Campbell can do in three years in year three what Chuck Knoll did in year four so um, taking over a team that's you know uh, Dan Campbell had a lot of fixing to do, and that that also goes along with uh, Sheila Ford Hamp. Um, so it takes it takes some time. So I just wanted to do this comparison. Uh, so no, Dan Campbell is not going anywhere, uh, not anytime soon. And um, if the defense uh, if the defense plays like they've been playing. And it's consistent. I mean, they're gonna. 
I have the Lions going 12 and 5 this year. Um, because there's going to be some hiccups. So, I mean, they're going to have more than one loss uh, throughout the year, but they're, they're on pace to, to win the division, and that'll be at least one playoff game. But my point is, what Dan Campbell is doing in year three, it took Chuck Knoll uh, year four to get to. So I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, comparing things. And uh, anyway, um, that's just all what I wanted to mention. And um, so you know what track he's going on. So anyway, um, I will talk to you later. Have a good day.